Good morning, this is Jim Morrison here at Nicegate 2009 at the Rochester Convention Center. I'm joined here today with Guy Ladico, 2009 president of the Nicegate, Nicegate organization. Good morning, Guy. Good morning. Thank you for being here. I saw looking at the brochure that this year's theme is making connections and opportunities through collaboration. Could you elaborate a little bit about that theme and tell me how it affects and relates to the teachers here at the Convention Center? Sure. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. You're welcome. Make, the, making connections. It has to do with the C and I skate. Traditionally, the C and I skate, the New York State Association for Computers and Technology in Education, stood for computers. Um, but that C is transformed with the needs of students and teachers from across the state. So the C and I skate, it's children, it's curriculum, it's creativity, collaboration, making connections, and opportunities for collegial. Uh, collaboration. So that's that's what's driving us. We're just trying to meet the 21st century needs of our teachers and students. Certainly, certainly. I saw, uh, speaking of the 21st century needs, I saw walking down the hallway uh, yesterday and today, the breakout sessions, uh, the sessions on the Web 2.0 technologies for podcasting and video and things of that sort were so crowded that the teachers were actually out in the hallways looking through the door. I mean, there was probably 40 chairs and they were all full. I mean, the demand is, is really out there. Absolutely. And it all comes back to another C. We're talking about C's uh, communication. And it's interesting. When you think about technology, and you go to the root of what the word technology means, tech, it means it's techne, which means, log, uh, which means art, and logos, which means discourse. So technology, by definition, going back to the Greek word of technology, is the art of discourse, the art of communication. And what all these Web 2.0 technologies offer us is other ways to communicate in, in the 21st century. Certainly. I know we've got a, a full TV studio here set up in the lobby of the convention center where we're talking this morning. We had a training class this weekend for teachers on how to do video, and it was very well received. Teachers really want to utilize these technologies in the classroom. It seems that they're really getting the students very interested in school and getting them more motivated to be at school by offering these these newer technologies that they're really interested in. Absolutely. You know, when, when I think back to how we, we used video technology in the past and the present today, it all comes back to pedagogy. It's the pedagogy that drives students how to, how to use these mediums of communication to communicate effectively. Uh, I, I think back to the first time I, I was a public school teacher in New York City and I was faced with a classroom of over 80 different languages and I was a reading teacher so I'm trying to develop that's, literacy That's got to be a real so, challenge, my goodness. Another, another C word, it was a big challenge and the way I was able to accomplish that was through a medium like this, like video technology. Now that was analog video back then, sure, which is sure, yeah. digital video, mm -hmm. but that's that's the medium. But still, the, the important piece is the pedagogy and the the way you develop the skills to communicate. Communication hasn't changed. Just the medium to connect to people is changing. So what, what I found as a resource, as a teacher, was when I introduced video like you have here, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm so excited about doing this interview, into the classroom. I was able to take students that had no motivation at all because they couldn't speak the language, I was able to then empower them with the cameras, with the video, where they were storyboarding stories and creating video productions that were broadcast three times a week all across New York City. Fantastic. And they had an opportunity to shine. And they were speaking and they were writing and they were interacting. But they were doing it in an environment that was just totally motivating. And they didn't realize they were learning literacy skills. Absolutely. I had, I had spoken with a teacher who was telling me about her experience in teaching uh, Spanish to, to, to students and she gave them the opportunity, instead of doing their play in the front of the classroom, they could make a video. And she said that these kids work so hard to get their lines, to get their pronunciation, their phrasing, their cadence and delivery down perfectly. She said, had they come up to the front of the classroom, they would have, they would have done okay. But she said the quality and the time that they spent in to make that video was so much greater than had it been if they were live. Because it was, it was a new medium they were using, they were using video, yet they were still having to practice their language, their delivery, their phrasing, everything that they needed to know to be able to speak that language fluently. That's the beauty of it. All the content areas are embedded in developing a video production. It's all there. You're, you're thinking about something. You, 
taking something out of thin air, you're, you're storyboarding it, creating something, uh, and then developing a story. It's just amazing. It, it certainly is. Well, let's look ahead a little bit to Nicecape 2010. Oh. Be here again at Rochester. Hopefully, we'll have beautiful weather like like we this did this year. Incredible. Unlike last yeah. year's deep freeze, uh, which is not unexpected in November. So, will you be expanding and, and continuing on with these themes of the Web 2.0 technologies next year? Absolutely. Um, we'll just be moving forward with all the emerging technologies, and that's what Nicecape's all about. It's, it's to provide teachers an opportunity to firsthand see what other teachers are doing across the state, exemplars of, of activities and the, the teachers actually have an impact with students and you know, how they're presenting that to the teachers that are here to, to, to learn about it. Um, we will keep expanding and one of, our, one of our goals is to collaborate with other organizations such as the New York State School Boards Association. Mm -hmm. We'll continue that collaboration and hopefully bringing them here into 2010. Um, the different BOCES throughout the state. Uh, this year we, we collaborated with the Long Island Tech Summit mm -hmm. and we want to bring their 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 interests and embed that into the, the whole conference too. Certainly. Well, we look forward to next year. And Guy, thank you very much for being here this, with me this morning. I appreciate it greatly. Thank you. This is Jim Morrison here at NiceGate 2009.